great Saturday evening. Hope you're having a wonderful closing of yet another beautiful day. May 15th, 2021. We're in the last chapter of First Kings. And let me ask you this. Have you had to have a difficult conversation with someone where you had to tell them the way it is, is right? They had to be candid, but they refused and, or they didn't want to hear or accept. And maybe you were speaking the truth in love. Well, in this chapter, it talked about uh, two kings and they were trying to get counsel and confirmation as far as should they go to battle. And in verse 8, it says, The king of Israel, we know that that was Ahab, said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man, Micah, or Micai, the son of Imlah, by whom we may inquire of the Lord. So he knew that this was a godly man who had a connection and could hear the messages of the Lord. But listen, he said, but, <laughs> this is Ahab talking, but I hate him. He's telling Jehoshaphat, I, I can't stand this guy. Mm. For, and this is the reason, for he never prophesies. He never says anything good concerning me, but evil. Hmm. Yeah. And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say so. Come on now. Get over that. Get over yourself, Jehoshaphat. It's not about get over yourself, Ahab. It's not about you. It's about what God would proclaim in our lives. And in verse 13 and 14, it says, And the messenger, Micaiah, that was gone to call Micaiah, spake unto him, saying, Behold, now the words of the prophets declare good unto the king with one mouth. Let thy word, I pray thee, be like the word of one of them, and speak that which is good. So the kings are like, can you be in one accord with everybody else who have spoken well and good tidings? And Micaiah said, woo, and this is what we have to say about our lives. As the Lord liveth, what the Lord saith unto me, that is what I will speak. Woo, if we could just proclaim that for the rest of our days, whatever the Lord tells us, to say whatever he tells us to have as a content of our mouth from our heart, we would not ever have any feet in our mouths, right? Never. And it says in verse 15, so he came to the king and the king said unto him, Micaiah, shall we go against Ramoth Gilead to battle or shall we forbear? And he answered him, Go and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. Now, sometimes it happens where we don't have good news like that. And we know later on in this chapter, the king of Israel, Ahab, dies in battle. And it was foretold um, chapters before. It says in verse 37, So the king died and was brought to Samaria, and they buried the king in Samaria, and one washed the chariot in the pool of Samaria, and the dogs licked up his blood, and they washed his armor according unto the word of the Lord which he spake. Yep. So that that was prophesied for Ahab's life some time ago, and we'll see what happened to Jezebel because of this craziness. Now, the point is, we want to declare the words of the Lord. We want to declare exactly what he is telling us and the way to recognize his voice is to spend time in his word, his will, and then we'll sharpen our hearing and then we'll be able to live by ear, live by hearing and not live by sight and live by any other uh, flesh or senses. But Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's why it's important for us to read the word out loud so that it can get down into our belly and our heart. So talking about our language. Well, in Proverbs 14, 1, I had to have a conversation, a tough conversation with an adult. And I just had to say, look, this is the deal. This is not going to happen. And this will happen 
right? But you have to be humble. And I told the person who was a uh, hire, I said, look, I responded this way and that way. I was very respectful, but I had to be firm. And in Proverbs 15:1, it says, a soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words, hmm, stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. Are we using our mouth like a, a faucet? <laughs> Or are we like a wholesome tongue, which is a tree of life? That's what the Lord wants us to use our language, our lips for. And it says in verse seven, the lips of the wise disperse knowledge. So we know that that organ, we know that the tongue is connected to the heart. And whatever is inside of here, it's going to show, it's going to be revealed by what we say and how we say it. And it says, a merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but the sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. No, we want our heart intact. We want our words intact. We want to be able to speak God's words. In verse 23, a woman, a man hath joy by the answer of their mouth and a word spoken in due season, how good it is. Let's shut it up. And so the Lord tells us to open our mouth. But let's remember what that prophet said in Makai. I'm only going to say what the Lord has told me to say. Have a wonderful evening resting and listening to the messages of the Lord.